Okay, this is part 5 of the EPS on F10 calibration. So, you know, we we'll just stopped again on me. So, alright, let me set. He said step 3 is, he said set the steering wheel on the front wheel. So, the straight ahead position, release the steering wheel. Alright, set it now to the. Alright, yeah, yeah, right. Set. No, set it, set it straight. Hold on, let me take a look on the wheel. Eh? Alright, it appears to be straight. Alright, the instruction gone. Cause it seems like you pick it up like it set straight. Then this is how it work. See that one person could do it? Alright, it said it said start up. It said start up electro mechanical power steering has failed. Do you wish to repeat the procedure? Alright, we never do it good. So let me repeat it again. So it failed. So let us do it again. No. Well, you could keep the engine running, you know, but never. Oh, let me shut it down. Oh, 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 I shut it down then. I click yes and it shut it down. Oh. I don't know. Oh, when we click yes, it shut it down. But thanks for telling me because I thought it's usually done. Oh, it shut it down. All right, no problem. All right, come out of the seat. Come on, you know, it, 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 go, it goes through the seats, real air position already. It moves them up and down and the steering up and down and it's draw along the back windows and the rear windows up and down already so I that for calibrate now all right so start engine set the um start engine set the steering wheel and from straight air position stop the engine switch on the ignition all right do, all right do it for oh. me again do it oh, for okay. me again so you know start we didn't do that already you know oh, okay okay but i don't know why just start it for me all right kind of rock the wheel left or right and then put it back straight yeah put it back put it back yeah put it back straight you know what BMW could have do to know to know when the wheel is straight. Basically, have a little digit negative to right and the positive number because we see it on the E30 before using Insta D, but I'm not in Insta D, so I can't tell if it's really at zero. It's supposed to be zero. Yeah, yeah, zero. Yeah. You know, you know, you can't tell. You know, but no. all right, turn, stop the engine, turn on terminal 15 now. Take him off for the brake. All right, good, very good, very good, very good. Very good. Let me click the other position. Say click continue. So them thing I take time. That's why you can't charge a little bit of money. <laughs> so I need it. I need them charge so much money because BMW make them charge so much money. Yeah, but them, but them, but them, yeah man, now them follow the software instruction. Yeah, so. What do you mean to take long? No, them know the procedure. Like how we do a trial and everything. Them just do it. On a trial and error we are doing. We are doing what them do, but me alone probably can do the steering wheel and then have to click on the button at the same time. Unless the computer in the car, you know, see. You know, you know, yeah. Me don't justify charging them more money. I don't know that man. <laughs> well, it had it, it, said, it, had, it had start commission of the EPS now. I said important, read the following condition and notice here. It said, the combustion engine is running, move the steering wheel at a low, at a low. Alright, it had tell more people, so let me click. Okay. He said now maintain your grip on the steering wheel at all times through the entire steering sequence. He said steer smoothly and harmoniously. When the end stop is reached, increase your steering force until resistance is clearly perceptible at the steering wheel. Hold the steering wheel at the end stop until the neck instructions appear. Alright, hold on them. The combustion is not to run. Alright. Start the engine for me now. Make it idle. Alright, it's at me say now we have 60 seconds, so it's just like before.
I said the come up here and said the teaching procedure requires that the initial settings of the steering wheel is approximately 30 degrees to the right. For this purpose, carry out the following step. Bring the steering wheel into the required position and release. 30 degrees to the right. Put it 30 degrees. Go some more. No man, do it again. 30 degrees, man. May I watch your front? Go on. Alright, hold it there, sir. Keep it on funny now. Keep it. Let me, let me. No, don't release it, Ed. It's, it just tell me, sir, bring the steering wheel into the required position. I said 30 degrees to the right. So, um. Me click OK, just wait. They'll come up with some other instructions and tell me what to do. And he said, slowly turn the steering wheel to its left lock position. Do that now and retain it here for a mo with a moderate force. Do it. Lock it to the left and hold it. Hold it, hold it. Keep your hand on it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait, just wait. Alright, do it now to the right. Bring it, bring it to the right quickly. Do it quickly. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright, the instruction guys, I'll come up with the next one. Just wait. So set, set the steering wheel and the front wheel to the straight. Alright, set it now. At the front now. Alright, hold it, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, no, go back look a bit right. Go back look a bit right. What? Well, we couldn't tell you now, but if you need alignment, you know, but... Okay. Come back, come back look a bit, please. Yeah, the, hold it, yes, sir. Hold it, yes, sir. Strain it properly. Yeah, hold it, yes, sir. Yeah. Alright, it said feel again. Eh? Like yeah man, it's a refer to the chassis stability because the ICM is monitoring the set the setting of the, of the whole thing. It it, it alright. The ABS unit work with the signal sent from the steering position, right? Mm -hmm. And all of that. So therefore the ICM really make that thing to come up. Really and truly at this not setting if you set properly. We're gonna follow the procedure again. Alright, now go say click yes and follow it again, see? Alright, it turned off on its own, so. Now I'll follow the, the procedure again. Let me stop the video. This is the end of part 4, really. Or part 5, I don't know. Oh, it showed that it. Huh? Yeah, I know mean, I, I program I do it. Alright, now it said start engine sensitivity. Alright. Alright, start the engine for me, make it idle. Not yet, just make it go already. Say wait 60 seconds. So, all right, now he said set the steering wheel approximately 30 degrees to the right for this purpose. Carry out the following steps bring the steering wheel into the required position 30 degrees to the right. Hold it, yes, sir. I don't know if, if it's too much. 30 